and welcome to University Challenge. This is it, the grand final. Competing tonight are teams from Auckland and Waikato. Asking the questions, Peter Sinclair. Good evening. Nice to have you with us and here we are at last after nine very exciting weeks. I don't think I can ever recall two more exciting semi-finals. First, uh, Auckland dispatched Canterbury after a thrilling match and last week Waikato in their very first semi-final managed to defeat the heavies, the defending champions, Otago and they make their first final tonight. Let's see firstly what all the teams will win. Each player in the winning team will receive a Laser 128 personal computer. The runners-up will each receive a $750 Bank of New Zealand Auto Access account, and everyone taking part will receive a Superlux desk lamp and a Parker pen. Nice prizes, may the best team win. No change to the rules, of course, although, as I reminded you during the semi-finals, should there be a tie at the end of this, the 1987 final, we'll resolve it by asking starter questions until we have a clear result. And now let's meet the teams. First, here's Auckland. Good evening. I'm Graham Coop, and I've just been admitted to the bar of the High Court of Ruritania. Hi, I'm Sue Jensen, reading Operations Research and the Financial Pages. And their captain. Hi, I'm Charles Chevelle, studying law, and this is Bomb Cow Mascot. G'day, I'm Bruce Williams, and for all the girls and guys at Lincoln Road Youth Group. <laughs> yeah. And opposing them in their first ever final, Waikato. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Anita Voise and I'm reading history. Uh, hello there. I'm Cynthia Cotton. I'm reading dirt. And their captain. Hello. My name's actually Andrew Aldenon Smythe, and I'm a toff. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Alison Sotheby, underdog by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> I think I liked them better when they were French, didn't you? <laughs> and now let's play the game. Here's the first start of 10 points in the 1987 Grand Final. What is the title of Morris Shadbolt's recently published novel? Jensen, Auckland. Season of the Jew. A nice interruption, Miss Jensen. That is correct, and Auckland on its way. 10 points, and here's your bonus. It's a very light bonus, as it's the first one. What food comes first in the dictionary under W? Um, comes in different flavors. There's a hint for you. A. Perhaps watermelon? Anything before that? Watermelon. Any ideas? Let's hear it aloud. Waffles? Waffles. waffles? Anything before waffles? Is the answer waffles? Yes. Unfortunately, that's the second. Wafer is the first. No points. Secondly, what edible animal comes first under A? Uh, it wouldn't be an aardvark. You can eat it. Yes, can you? Can. Sure you can. An aardvark? I must give you the point, in fact. I have abalone, but I presume you can eat aardvarks. Uh, I'm going aardvark to give you five points. <laughs> and thirdly, what comes first in the dictionary under the letter I? This is a two-part answer. Could you repeat the question, please? What comes first in the dictionary under the letter I? It will be The I. first food we're talking about oh, here. Oh, the first food. food. Yep, this is a two-part answer. Um, ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, ice cream. Uh, Oh, yeah, Don't want to hurry you, but Probably it is ice cream. ice cream. Is correct. Five <laughs> points, and here's another starter. What term denotes documents allegedly written by Mary, Queen of Scots, to Lord Bothwell, which implicated her in her husband Darnley's murder? They were love letters and poems, and the name refers to the container in which they were found. Any member of either team, this is a starter. No. Voisey, Waikato. The beer barrel letters. No, I'm sorry, Auckland. Jensen, Auckland. The locket letters. No, the casket letters. No points to any member of either team. And here's another starter. Spell for me the part of the French coast on which is located the French Riviera of which... Chevelle, Auckland. C-O-T-E-D-A-Z-U-R. That's exactly it. Cote d'Azur is correct. Uh, ten points and here's your bonus. Which native tree did Captain Cook use to prepare spruce beer for controlling scurvy in his crew? Which native tree? Rimu. Is correct, five points. The temperate rainforest of the Southern Alps is mainly composed of Rimu and Rata on the lower elevations. What tree composes most of the forest on the upper level? Beach. Beach. Is correct, five points. And thirdly, at a certain time of day, it's noted that a tree that is 15 metres high casts a shadow that is 20 metres long. What is the distance from the top of the tree to the tip of its shadow? The distance? It's uh, between 25, 25 metres. 25 metres. Is correct. That's another five points. Clean sweep of the bonuses. And here's a starter. When Martin Crowe scored his sixth test century in February, with which other player did he take New Zealand from disaster to safe ground of the first test against the West Indies with their 24-run stand? Any offers? Williams, Auckland. Martin Sneddon. No. Waikato, can you take it? Southby, Waikato. Jeremy Coney. No, John Wright. Here's another starter. What is perhaps the most important industry in the forest of Perigord in France? 
Williams, Auckland. Truffles. That's it, the collection of truffles, another 10 points to Auckland, and here's your bonus. I want the first names of these characters in literature. Gatsby, uh, as in the great Gatsby. Gatsby. Um, yeah. What was his Christian name? Charles. First name, just the first one. Yeah, Charles. I think they could Charles? Be. No, J. Gatsby. J. Secondly, Micawber. Mr. Micawber, his Christian yes. name was? Uh, George Bill. No idea at all. George. No, Mr. Wilkin, uh, Wilkins McCord, McCorber. And thirdly, von Aschenbach from Death in Venice. What was his Christian name? Uh, Wilhelm. Hugo. Also, be oh, German name. No Wilhelm. No, Gustav. <laughs> no points on that part of the bonus, but it's 55, and why can't I get to open their score? Here's a starter. Which writer created Pellera, the mythologist, Bliss, who has telepathic insight, Phalum, the hermaphrodite, and Councillor Golan Trevise? who then searched for the mythical origins of humanity in the book Foundation and Earth, the author. Jensen, Auckland. Isaac Asimov. Is correct, Isaac Asimov. Another ten points to Auckland, powering along here. And here's your bonus. Anidus, N-I-D-U-S, is the egg deposit of which creature? Anidus. Turtle, perhaps? The turtle? No. Uh, an insect or a spider? Directed. <coughs> no points. The flamingo is noted for its nest being of what shape? What shape is a flamingo's nest? Uh, is it a big bundle of sticks? It could be. I don't, it's a water bird. It was a shape. Yeah. No idea? Oval. Oval. Any office? No. A truncated cone. And thirdly, what comprises the nests of the Southeast Asian swifts, which then become part of the famous bird's nest soup? Ooh, um, what are they made of? Leaves and part of the droppings, I think. Leaves and droppings? No, they are made from the saliva of the swift itself. No points. Here's another start of a ten. In a muster of sheep, for instance, or a herd of gazelles, how would you identify by behaviour an animal that was stotting? Stotting. Williams, Auckland. It would be jumping over an article that wasn't there. Jumping over an object that wasn't an imaginary object. Like a pretend fence. I'm going to give you the, the points. Bounding up in the air, keeping all four legs straight is the answer I had, but I think you had it, so I'll give you ten points, Auckland, and here's your bonus. I want you to spell for me the German word doppelganger, which has come into the English for a ghostly duplicate of a living person. Spell doppelganger. That's D-O... Sorry? I'm sorry, I was going to say this for five points. Continue. Yeah. That's D-O-P-P-E-L-G-A-N-G-E-R. That's exactly it. Five points and now for ten points. Spell the Latin name for the vampire bat, which is Desmodus Rotundus. Desmodus Rotundus. Desmodus Rotundus. D-E-S-M-O-D-I-S. No, U-S. R-O-T-U-N-D. U-S. No points for that part of the bonus. Let's have a music starter. Now, this is the opening music from a recent film. I want to know which film. Here it is. Boise, Waikato. Mosquito Coast. No, I'm afraid not, Auckland. Can you take it? Jensen, Auckland. Uh, something Wild. That's right, something wild, that's exactly right, ten points. Answer snatched out of the air there by Ms Jensen for Auckland, earning the right uh, to a bonus worth 15 points. From which film are each of the following? First, this one. Any idea at Could all? Be. Name of the film? Woman in Red? No, Tootsie. Now <laughs> this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a comedian. It's a comedian. It's a comedian. It's a comedian. Well, try, try down by law. Yeah, okay. Down by law? Paper. No, and I'm afraid I don't know if Murray Ball would like Foot Rot Flats being described as a thriller. That was Horsebeat from Foot Rot Flats, and here's the last one. I marched recklessly towards the Titan and saw that a multitude of black birds were circling and clustering about the hood. I began running along the road. I felt no fear, only a wild, trembling That's... exultation as I ran up the hill towards the motionless monster. Uh... 
Out of the hood hung red shreds at which the hungry birds now peck. Yeah, it's definitely the War of the World soundtrack. <laughs> What? Let's have an answer. It's War of the Worlds. That's it, the epilogue from the War of the Worlds. Five points salvage in the bonus, and here's a starter. As Napoleon's defeated troops returned from Moscow, the intense cold is said to have disintegrated the metal buttons on their breeches because of the formation of allotropes of which metal? No conferring, this is a starter. Any offers from either team? Williams, Auckland. Copper. No, I'm sorry, Waikato, over to you. Smith, Waikato. Um, silver. No, the answer is tin. Here's another starter. What is Ngato Kimata Haurua, belonging to the five tribes Ngapui, Aupo, Te, uh, Te Arawa, Ngati Kahu, and Ngati Fatua? Jensen, Auckland. It's the canoe that they are derived from. That's it, the big war canoe is correct, the big canoe rather. Another 10 points. And it's 105 to Auckland with Waikato yet to score and a chance at a further 15 for Auckland. Which variety of quartz is dark green with red spots? Crystalline? Let's keep the conference as fast. Jasper? No, Bloodstone. I would have accepted Heliotrope. Secondly, uh, who was the dwarf who guarded the Ring of the Nibelung? His name was... His name was... Anything Don't want to hurry you. His name was... Gala. No, Alberic. And thirdly, what term is common both to anatomy and to diamonds split along a definite plane so as to yield a smooth surface? That would be cleavage. Yeah. Cleavage? That is exactly right. That's uh, five points. And here's another start of a ten points. Who said, O Lord, give me chastity and continency, but... Coop, Auckland. St. Augustine. Nicely interrupted, Mr. Coop. That is correct. St. Augustine. And here's your bonus. What title did Harry Sinclair and Don McGlashan give to their musical tour at the end of last year, in which they celebrated the ritual of a certain time of day? Uh, the reason for breakfast. The reason for breakfast. That is correct, five points. And secondly, you can't unscramble eggs is a loose way of stating which of the laws of thermodynamics? Uh, presumably entropy. Entropy. Yeah. Lesser entropy greater entropy. Do you want to know the second? Which, which number it is? I just want to know which number it is. Uh, that's which law? Second, I think. Second. Second, that is correct, five points. And thirdly, most of us at some time have eaten chalazai for breakfast. Exactly what is or are chalazai? Chalazai. Chalazai. You'll notice you won't. Uh, Omelets? I'm sorry? Omelets? Can't accept that. Part of an omelette. It's the stringy little white bits in egg white on either side which oh. anchor the yolk in the middle. Yeah. You've just learned something you didn't know before. They're called a chalazai. Chalazai in the plural. Here's another start of a ten. In whose films are these scenarios? A bread roll does a dance routine. A boot becomes a steak and a slice of spaghetti. A broken clock becomes a patient on the surgeon's table. The unveiling of a grandiose statue reveals a tramp asleep in its arms. The last in this list of four being the film City Lights. Whose films are those scenarios in? Williams, Auckland. Walt Disney. No, I'm afraid not. Why can't Can you take it? South B, Waikato. Andy Warhol. No, Charlie Chaplin. I thought the little tramp would give you that one. Let's have another start of a ten. In the Apocrypha, what is the name of the woman spied on by two lecherous elders while bathing... Boise, Waikato. Susanna. Is correct. You're on your way, Waikato. Well done. Ten, ten. And here's your bonus. What is the present-day popular name for the intelligence and espionage agency of the British government? MI5, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. MI5. No, MI6. I'm sorry, no points there. Secondly, which book did writer Nigel West publish shortly after Peter Wright's Spy Catcher, in which he supported Mr. Wright's allegations of a bugging and burgling conspiracy to destabilise Harold Wilson's Labour government? What was the name of the book? It was Mole Hunt. And thirdly, for a given kind of gas, the pressure of the gas multiplied by the volume it occupies and divided by its temperature is directly proportional to the amount of gas used, the mass of gas used, and what else? Do you know it? R. Uh, R. Uh, what if R is, is a constant, 8.3. No, the answer I needed was the number of moles used. No points there. Let's have another start of a ten. What term denotes a Venetian boat song in a time of six or twelve quaver beats to the bar? It may also be an instrumental composition or vocal composition resembling this, both being re both being reminiscent. South B, Waikato. Barcarole. A Barcarole, nicely interrupted. Another ten points, Waikato. <laughs> and here's your bonus. The base of the hand is supported by how many carpal bones? The base oh, of the hand. Fine, I think. Some Major quick carpal. computation. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five. Five. five is wrong. Eight, I'm afraid, <laughs> is the correct answer. Secondly, there are eight stories on which structure of legendary instability? Leaning Tower of Pisa. Leaning tower That's it, five easy points. And thirdly, which flute is pitched eight notes higher than the concert flute? 
Is it? Is it's it? the yeah. piccolo. Is correct. Another five points, and you're underway. Here's a picture starter. I want the name of the artist in this painting. Here it is. Ooh. Smith Waikato. <laughs> Did you buzz deliberately, Mr. Smith, or not? No. You didn't. <laughs> okay. I want the name of the artist. No confirming. Jensen, Auckland. It's Peter McIntyre. Here's correct. Ten well points, Auckland. Peter McIntyre it is. <laughs> and here's your picture bonus. Three more of Mr McIntyre's paintings. I want you to identify the general New Zealand area which each depicts. Just the general area. It looks There's like this one. Bay of Islands. Yeah, yeah. Bay of Islands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Let's have an answer. Two it two is Bay of Islands. Bay of Islands is correct. That's five That's points. Secondly. It's Canterbury Plains. Oh, the desert. Canterbury. Oh, no. How about the King Country? Central Plateau, uh, the Desert Road. Yeah, Desert Road. Desert Road, no. North Canterbury. And thirdly, this one. <laughs> Is that Nelson Lakes? Uh, try Nelson Lakes. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. other ideas? Let's have an answer. No. Go Nelson Lakes? No, it is Lake Taupo, and we're on to another start for 10 points. <laughs> Which sea is bounded in the south by the submarine Carlsberg Ridge, southeast of Socotra Island, and was known in antiquity as the Mare Erythrium? What's the name of the sea? No conferring. Any offers? Williams, Auckland. The Caspian Sea. No, it's not Waikato. Voise, Waikato. Sea of Azov. No, the Arabian Sea, another starter. Which, at the halfway mark, the match has been all the way of Auckland at this stage. They took an early lead. They've gone on to 145, and as you can see, uh, trailing at the moment Waikato, and this is their very first semi final. Looking back historically, I see that uh, Auckland won back in 1985. I've mentioned that uh, Waikato had never actually been in a final before. They last met in the heats in 1985, and Auckland won by a big margin. But we're only halfway through the program and anything could happen. Here's another start of a 10. Which symphony by Beethoven was composed to celebrate the memory of a great man and was originally called Bonaparte, this title being a race? Smith, Waikato. Baraka. Is correct, nicely interrupted, 10 points, Waikato, that's it. Here's your bonus. What in New Zealand do we call the insect harvestman, as it's sometimes called in Britain? They call it the harvestman, we call it something Daddy else. Daddy Longlegs, isn't it? Daddy Longlegs. That's it, the Daddy Longlegs, five points. Secondly, what's the common name of the member of the iguana family which has the ability to stand up at its hind legs and run across water? Very handy. Oh. Not many people can, can manage that. Oh. Any ideas? <laughs> um, it's, you know, you won't. No. It is the basilisk. And thirdly, what is the common name for the bird jacana in reference to its ability to walk on floating plants? It's called commonly the... <laughs> the, <laughs> no, we don't know. It's the Lily Trotter. Here's another start of a ten points. Which future MP told Churchill that if she were his... Chevelle, Auckland. Lady Esther. Oh, an inspired interruption. That's exactly right. <laughs> the quotation for the viewers was if uh, she had put poison, uh, that if she were his wife, she had put poison in his coffee. Churchill replied, Nancy, if you were my wife, I'd drink it. And obviously Mr Chevelle has heard that one before. Ten points uh, for Auckland. Uh, Mr Chevelle, and here's the bonus. In the opening of a Shakespeare play, what line precedes the following? Made glorious summer by this son of York. The one before that. Yeah. Now is the winter of our discontent. That's it, five points. <laughs> Secondly, in Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest, what sentence precedes the following? One should always have something sensational to read in the train. It's in reference to a certain type of book. Something, what, what, Any what idea? Is he proposing to read? No idea. You'll know this or you won't. No. The <laughs> no, the line is, I never travel without my diary. And thirdly, <laughs> what line precedes the following in A Christmas Carol? Oh, sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. The line before that is... Sing, choirs of, yep. sing, choirs of, sing angels. choirs of angels. Sing in exaltation. That's exactly it. Five <laughs> points, and it's 165 to 45 in favour of Auckland. Here's a starter. What is the following phrase describing? An abomination unto the Lord, but a very present help in trouble. Jensen, Auckland. A lie. That's it, it's a lie. That's the correct one, and that's another ten points for Auckland, and here's the bonus. Which patriot fought against the Austrians and French in Italy and with 1,000 volunteers conquered Sicily and Naples for the emerging Kingdom of Italy in 1860? It was... Garibaldi. Direct five points. <coughs> Secondly, what is the modern name of the city at the foot of the Apennines, which in Etruscan times was called Felsina? The name is associated with a large smoked sausage. Perhaps I should have given this to Waikato in view of their early <laughs> mascot. Salami. Salami. Breakfast. It is... Salami. Not salami. No, it's Bologna. I thought yeah. the university might give you that. Uh, thirdly, what was the surname of the brothers uh, Gentile and Giovanni, noted for their paintings of Venice in the 15th century? Their surname was... 
Ken Letter. No, Bellini. And here's another start of a ten points. Which man commanded the area in which raiders derailed an armoured train on the 15th of November, 1899, taking the young Winston Churchill prisoner? In 1908, he became Prime Minister of the Transvaal, who was in a conferring. Voisey, Waikato. Jan Smuts. No, I'm sorry, Auckland, can you take it? Chauvel, Auckland. Kruger. No, Louis Botta, and here's another. Start of a ten, what score was amassed at the Concord Oval when New Zealand took the Bledisloe Cup from the Wallabies in Sydney? Smith, Waikato. 30 to 16. That's it, ten points. <laughs> and here's the votes. Armadeus was the Latin form of Theophilus, one of the four names with which Mozart was baptised. For five points, I want two of his other names. Wolfgang <laughs> Amadeus. Oh, okay. <laughs> keep it going. You've got Wolfgang, we need Wolfgang, one more. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and we can't think you of You can't think of the rest. <laughs> Johannes Chrysostomus, uh, Chrysos so uh, no points for that part of the bonus. Uh, when Mozart was seven in 1763, he was received by the kings of France and England, respectively, for five points each. I want the names of those two kings. Five points per king. When he was seven, he was received by the kings of France and England. When he was seven. 1763. Oh boy, 1763. That would be George the Third of Five England. points. That's it, George the Third, and in France. And in France, 1763, it would have been Louis the... 63, 63, 16th, yeah, 15th or 16th, I can't decide. Would you like to give me one of them? Um, 15th. That's exactly right, good, yes, Louis XV. Well done. No five points, 6518, and here's a starter. What Greek term refers to the uh, species of atom which have the same atomic number but different mass numbers? And Voisey, Waikato. Oh, allotrope, no. I'm sorry, you lose five points, I'll continue for Auckland. And in the English language, translates as same Place. No conferring Auckland. Williams, Auckland. Isotope. That is it, Desos. Oh, Topos is correct. Isotope. Ten points, and here's your bonus. In astronomy, what's an aphelion? Aphelion. Aphelion, that's where the, something is furthest away from the sun. The furthest point in its orbit yeah. around the yeah. sun. Furthest point in, in, its, in an object's orbit from the, around that the sun. That is correct. A planet or a comet furthest away from the sun, five points. What part of a comet is the coma? The tail. That's the, 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 no, uh, the tail. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, the tail? No, screen. it's the luminous cloud surrounding the frozen nucleus. Yes, not the tail, no point for that. <laughs> Secondly, or rather thirdly, whose laws first described the revolutions of the planets around the sun? Uh, it was whose laws? Or Copernicus. Kepler's. Kepler is correct, well, Mr. Chevelle. Another five points, and here's a starter. Alluding to whose love affairs were these words written? Let us have wine and women and mirth and laughter, sermons and soda water the day after. About whose love affairs? Voisey, Waikato. Charles II. No, I'm sorry, Auckland, no conferring. Can you take it? No idea at all. It was... Coop, Auckland. James II. No, it was Don Juan, Byron, of course, writing the poem. And here's another starter. Which touring group this year sang the line, You don't find heaven in isms and schisms in their song, Get Up, Stand Up. Who was it? It was... Voisey, Waikato. Striper. No, Auckland. <laughs> Five minutes on the clock. Auckland, any idea at all? Williams, Auckland. Uh, uh, ZZ Top. No, it was Bob Marley's Good Whalers, time. and here's another starter. How many babies are born on Earth every second? A rate that's expected to put the population of the planet at 6.2 billion by the year 2000. How many babies per second? No consultation. Coop, Auckland. Six. No, Waikato. No conferring. Smith, Waikato. 20. No, only four. Let's go on to another starter. Yeah, as if that wasn't enough. Uh, <laughs> in what year was the first man-made satellite put into orbit around... Boise, Waikato. 1958. No, I'm sorry, and I hadn't finished. You lose five points. I'm for Auckland. Into orbit around the Earth. No conferring. Coop, Auckland. 1961. No, 1957, as Voisey was one year out. 4th of October, Sputnik. And I think it's time we threw in the jackpot <laughs> starter to see if Waikato can't make a desperate lunge for success. Here it is. What visitor to New Zealand in 1986, formerly of Magdalen College, Cambridge, and Yale University in 1957, wrote the review Share My Lettuce, and more recently The Great Moguls, The Treasures and Dynasties of China, and The Christians, the latter having been seen here as a television series, who is he? Voisey Waikato. Ugh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Bamba Gascoigne. Bamba Gascoigne, the host of University <laughs> Challenge, have written well about 10 points. And now, here's your chance at the jackpot bonus. You need these points. Double the usual number, but you must get all parts. Firstly, name the ousted Fijian foreign minister under question at military barracks after being arrested by the army at his home. We're talking about July this year, world politics in July this year. 
Yes, okay. Kapil Singh. No, I'm <laughs> sorry. Krishna Dutt. No good there. We'll just move on to the next part of the bonus. You could still uh, get some points from it. General Manuel Antonio Noriega rejected calls for his resignation as the head of the Defence Forces of which republic in July this year? Which republic? The what Republic was this, of... What's the guy's name again? Ortega. Ortega. Noriega. Noriega. Manuel Antonio Noriega. Oh, it was... Um, Maybe, maybe Spain. Spain. Let's have a Spain. no. It was Panama. And thirdly, which leader resigned as president of his Democratic Justice Party, handing control to the party chairman Ro Tai Wu? Three minutes on the clock. It was oh, Chun Doo Wan. Yeah. Who was it? It's in South yeah. Korea. Anyway. Chun Doo Wan. That is correct. So you've salvaged five points from that bonus, and it's now seventy to two hundred, and we have only about three minutes or less left on the clock. Another starter. Who came to power in nineteen seventy nine after a revolution which toppled Shah Mohammad Reza? Chevel, Auckland. The Ayatollah Khomeini. That is exactly right. Nice interruption. Ten points off, and then here's your bonus. What term denotes a late 18th and early 19th century art style in architecture, decorative art, and fine art, which was based on the imitation of surviving classical models and types? What was the term denoting that? Let's have a quick answer. Two minutes to go. Uh, it was neoclassicism. Is correct. Neoclassicism. Five points. Secondly, what term denotes the cultural period that lasted in Europe from about 4,000 to 2,400 BC and was characterised by primitive crop growing and stock rearing and the use of polished stone and flint tools and weapons? It was the uh, Neolithic. 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 Is correct. Five points. And thirdly, what was Neoplatonism? Um, Neo reviving the ideas of Plato, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but about what? Um, Perfectly simple. Well, any idea at all? The philosophical school reviving the ideas of Plato. That's it. Ancient mystical <laughs> philosophy based on the doctrines of Plato. Simple as that. Perfectly simple. That's five points there. And here's a starter. Less than two minutes to go. Within what organisation did Andreas Papandreou decide in January to keep Greece as a member, citing as the reason... Chauvel, Auckland. NATO. Is correct. Another nice interruption from the Auckland captain. And here's the bonus. What language in classical Greece was noted particularly as being the dialect of Athens? What language? Let's have it quickly. Demotic. It was called... Is it Demotic? No, Attic. Secondly, yes. what language written in the Greek alphabet was, ex uh, was extinct as a spoken language by about 1600 AD, but survives in the ancient Christian church of Egypt? Co Co the language is called... Yeah, Coptic. 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 Is it Coptic. No, Let's Coptic. have an answer. Coptic. Is correct. Five points. And thirdly, what language in the 5th century BC spread to become the lingua franca of the Persian Empire and is still spoken in parts of Syria and the Lebanon? The language is... Aramaic. Yeah, Aramaic, I think. Aramaic. Is correct. Five points. You shouldn't look so doubtful. Less than a minute to go. Here's another start of a ten. In which game in Sydney was a 24-all deadlock broken by fullback uh, Sergei Blanco when he scored a match-winning try? Smith, Waikato. Um, the match between France and Australia. That's in exactly a ten Cup. points. Nice interruption, Waikato. And here's your bonus. <laughs> Yeah, what is the cut. only part of the electromagnetic spectrum which is sensitive to the human eye? The only one we see is... Oh, the visible spectrum. Light. Is yeah. light. That's exactly yeah. at five points. Which New Zealand artist painted He's the One, May His Light Shine on the oh, Coomera Patch in 1976? Colin McCann. It was Colin McCann, five points. And where was New Zealand's first navigational light established? You may not answer. It was established at the entrance to Wellington Harbour, Pen Caro Head. But you can't get the points for that. It's carried your score to 85, but the victors by a very wide margin is Auckland with 245. <laughs> Our warmest congratulations. Our warmest congratulations to Auckland. They haven't uh, won since uh, 1985, in fact. And our commiserations to Waikato on their first appearance in the final. Our thanks to you for being with us during the series. And now from both teams, first from the victors, Auckland. And from the vanquished, Waikata. Good night. Good night. And from me, a very good good night. Good night. <laughs> 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 <laughs>